Now, certain types of quadrilaterals have special characteristics. Let's take a look at the square, okay? And if you notice, the slash marks indicate that all the sides are congruent. And the little square on each corner represents they're all right angles. So we have all sides congruent, all angles congruent. So in a square, all sides are congruent. All angles are also right angles. And opposite sides are parallel. So if you extend the lengths of the sides, the opposite sides will never meet. That's what it means when it says parallel. The opposite sides or the two lines will never meet or will never intersect. Okay, a parallelogram. If you notice the slash marks, this side is congruent to that side. And the two slash marks here, this side is congruent to this side because both of them have slash marks. So characteristics of uh, a parallelogram, opposite sides are also congruent, but opposite sides, well, opposite sides are parallel and the angles are not congruent to each other. So opposite sides are parallel again, just like a square, and opposite, uh, opposite sides are congruent. Unlike a square, not all sides are congruent, nor do they have right angles, okay? And finally, the rectangle. Again, if you notice, opposite sides of rectangles are congruent as indicated by the two slash marks and the one slash mark. And they both, the, all four angles are right angles. So in a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent. All angles are right angles and opposite sides are parallel to each other. Okay, let's take a look at example number four. Explain how a rectangle and a parallelogram are alike and how they are different, okay? Let's say, so let's observe our par uh, rectangle and our parallelogram. We know that opposite sides of both a rectangle and a parallelogram are congru uh, congruent to each other, okay? And we know that uh, opposite sides are also parallel. This side is parallel to that side. This side is parallel to that side. But the difference is that in a rectangle, you have right angles, but you don't have that in a parallelogram. So, uh, all of them have, okay, well, let's take a look at this one. A rectangle or uh, and a parallel parallelogram, I'm sorry, are alike because they have four sides, okay? They have opposite sides parallel, and they have opposite sides congruent. And they are different because the rectangle is four right angles. And a parallelogram does not necessarily have four right angles. Okay, let's take a look at example number five. Before we go to example number five, the secret word for this lesson is warriors. The secret word is warriors. A triangle with three congruent sides is called an equilateral triangle. Okay, so if you have a triangle, all sides are congruent. We call that an equilateral triangle. The traffic uh, sign shown is a yield sign. Yield, uh, if uh, you've been noticing, noticing this in the street, yield simply means give way. Okay, so what shape is a yield sign? What is the perimeter of the sign? Obviously, it is a triangle. And uh, when you talk about perimeter, it is assumed that you know the definition of perimeter. We know that the perimeter, okay, is basically uh, the sum. Okay, of all the sides. Okay, so that's what's given in B. Definition of perimeter, the sum of all the lengths of the sides. Therefore, in this case, we simply add the three sides, 36 plus 36 plus 36 equals 108. Because in a triangle, to be able to find your perimeter, okay, perimeter of a triangle is equal to side 1 plus side 2 plus side 3 okay so the perimeter of this particular triangle uh, is 108 inches and that's our lesson thank you for watching